Happy Tuesday, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Topps Heritage High Number Baseball. 12 box, pick your team number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We got Nick's help today, so big thanks to him. That's going to make this break go a lot faster. This break brought to you by Grubhub, not DoorDash. Don't use DoorDash. There's Tuesday, 8 20, 2019, 12 box, pick your team three, 2019 Topps Heritage High Number. There's everyone right there. Those little rooftops next to your name letting you know that you won that in some sort of team random that we did. Jeff Goldhaber with that last spot mojo star cubbies. All right, let's see what we got here, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll, uh, since Nick is here, we'll be able to catch a lot of those variations. The variations are a lot easier to spot this year too. They ride them on the back. Where the just below the card number. They deliver through DoorDash. They, they're they're partners with DoorDash, so it goes through DoorDash. So just don't use DoorDash, folks. I would have paid you the same delivery fee that they charged me. Yeah. Next time I will do that. Bringing back the 1970 Topps design, ladies and gentlemen, a real one autograph or a relic card in every box. I think every case has about five, four or five autographs or something like that. So they're few and far between, but if you pull an autograph, it'll be pretty nice. How much did we go for? I think we did our football draft last night, ladies and gentlemen. Went for over 50 bucks. Bargain. Bargain for a guy who's going to go for 1,500 yards. I mean, receivers. Double digit deep. touchdowns. Receivers the deepest position, so that's why I spent the least amount at. I just kept oh, Julio see. Jones, one elite guy, and then just yeah, filled him in with like just a bunch of scrubs, yeah. I got Calvin Ridley. I, I think he's going to have a good year. Um. Dirk Cutter's back in Atlanta. Yeah, I Sorry, I know it's a baseball break, folks, but it's a long break. We could, we could talk about a lot of different things. Yeah, Matt, we got Heritage coming at you. We just, this is box one. We literally just started. Did we have to sort through Pick Your Team 2? I don't know. Probably not. That was yesterday, right? Sunday. Oh, is that Sunday? Probably getting to it today, probably. What's going on, Matt? I'll probably be shipped tomorrow, I think. What did Jimmy G go for? Was he even drafted? He was kept, I think. Oh, he was kept. Why? Oh, Jason Jaspi. Uh, our sorting team will look through all of those, all of the backs of the cards, and we'll, we'll be pulling all of the different variations. I get confused about this too. There's so many variations, and you can't tell which one's which just by looking at it unless you're like a heritage expert. The action variations are kind of hard. Yeah, that's probably all I'm about to get, Jason. Those are the easiest to spot, but all the different color swaps and all that sort of stuff. But thankfully this year, they write in what the variation is right under that number. So it's super easy for the shipping team to uh, find. Yeah, if Jason had to go through the backs of all those cards, it would, it would have taken two hours. It's already long enough. Even with Nick, it's long enough. But, Again, like I said, those autographs are so short printed and like those those real one red ink autographs and stuff like that, they do super well on a secondary market. This is great for set builders too. This is like I wish I wish we can get a case of this, ladies and gentlemen, and just sit at the shop and just rip this over over like a leisurely Sunday afternoon or something like that. That's the perfect one of this. Everyone gets Get bring 12 people, everyone gets a box, and then, you know, we just kind of hang out, you know, drink a couple beers. 
Or not, if you don't drink, and then hang out and just look for variations and stuff. That's it. All right, box one. It's a relic, Joey Gallo. Game use memorabilia. That'll be for the Rangers, Anthony Lopez with Texas. Oh, did they do the French back again this year, Matt? I know they did that last year. They just changed that text, the, the text about the player, they just changed it to French. Got some fun, this fun scratch off. Oh, they did. Well, th those are also easy to spot because it's in French. So we got our one relic already. We're just looking for some maybe obvious variations. Usually the action variations are them in game situations, but maybe not like that portrait, but actually doing something in a game. That's just an insert. Those will ship, of course. It's only vet base that won't ship, so veteran commons you won't be getting. So sorry, sorry Marlins, you won't be getting that Neil Walker that you wanted. If you really want it, we'll send you that Neil Walker, <laughs> one of those. Back is Curtis Leroy Jenkins. It's not Leroy Jenkins, it's just Kurt <laughs> Belay Ferry. Wish it was Leroy Jenkins. That goes to the Yankees. Brendan Scarlatos with that one. Never got that reference. You've never seen Leroy Jenkins? It's the I've seen the video, but I, I, I don't get it. Oh, I don't know. It's just some idiot who just like, his buddies are trying to do a raid. And then he just F's everything up. He's just like, I'm just gonna go in guns blazing. Like he's like Sundance Kid or something like that. Have you ever seen the Gumby video with Greg Jennings? Gumby with Greg Jennings? Yeah, that the was The football awesome. player Greg Jennings? Yeah, he breaks his leg in Madden and then he, oh my God, you've never seen that video? No. That was way better. All right, maybe I'll have to look that up. But I mean, does, that, does he have like a catchphrase that goes with Yeah, it? Uh, you, you just have to watch the video. Okay, all right. Oh, and Nick will be going through these. Bop. See? Oh, team name. I don't think we've seen that one yet. Oh, no, maybe we have. The, oh, yeah, we have. The, oh, is this usually yellow, yeah, but now yeah, it's yeah, black? Yeah, yeah. Okay, those are almost impossible. How would you... I think it's on the bottom, actually, maybe. Or something. Oh, you know what? Someone's... No, I don't know. No. I think it is the top, maybe. I don't know. I think it's the color. Yeah. There, there was one where, where like the name of the player was white, and yeah. everyone else is, is the player it's, name. Yeah, that's the player name. Oh, that's the player name. Don, yes. Well, no, I think those are current picks. Sorry, those are all today's games, right? I took a couple days off. My 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 picks were terrible, right? Because Cleveland's at. No, that's, those are Sunday's picks. I do have picks. I'll get those to you later. Maybe in a couple boxes. But Sunday was, was bad. Monday was terrible. No, Saturday and Sunday I think were terrible. So Maybe we should just, just quit until football. I know. I may just have to quit until football. Baseball bidding gets hard as yeah. it gets closer to the playoffs. I'm, I'm up 1%. On angels, the year. Are, angels are tanking. That's why they're. I'm a, I'm a terrible gambler. Tanking. Spending thousands of dollars betting on baseball games, Mike Trout, and I'm up like is, a dollar. Mike Trout hit his 42nd highest yeah. home run today. That was Very wild. High. 
Mike Trout, 42 home runs. Did he, have, he has 50 by the end of the year, right? Yeah, I would, I would hope so. Unless he's shut him down. Kyle Seeger, M's. That'll be for Junior with the Mariners. Should have shut him down for next year. So when he gets 50. Just call it? Yeah. <laughs> Watch he wins the MVP, missing a month of the season. There's Wilson Ramos. That's out of 69. Nice. That's for the Mets. That'll be for Richard Z. These cards come out of the pack like this? Yeah, they did. Come on, Tops. Come on. Well, not Tops, but come on, manufacturer. I thought it was card. Weird. I didn't want to look because then people would think I'm like peeking. Or card printing cards, card printing company. In I thought they were all going to be on Dallas or something. <laughs> All autos. <laughs> like an eight autograph bot, hot box. Man. Some poor kid has a case of heritage with no autos in it. <laughs> yeah, kids buying cases of heritage. Kids of heritage. <laughs> Maybe 30 years a ago. A blaster box of heritage retail. Right. It has no, nothing. And then he cries. So that's Nate Lowe, folks. His teammate, Brandon, who spells the last name the same, Lau. Grub up this time. We gotta take off the sponsorship in a second. This break brought to you by Grubhub's garbage. Do we, where, do, where do we go? What, what's the other food service? Do we go caviar now? I don't do delivery anymore. That's it. No delivery yeah. for you anymore. Too many issues. Yeah. Too many yeah, issues, folks. Domino's always delivers. Probably. Domino's can deliver on time. 30 minutes or less, or else it's free. Do they still do that? I don't know. I watched that movie, though. What movie? With About the Noid? Jesse Eisenberg and Aziz Ansari, called 30 Minutes or Less. It's pretty funny. Oh, let me see that. It's about a true story. There's Pedro Barbone. Based on a true story. There was another Barbone in baseball, wasn't there, in the early 2000s, maybe? 90s? I don't know. Another McCutcheon variation, which is kind of cool. Oh. Alex says go Uber Eats. That's true. They drive around all the time. Yeah. There's Andrew McCutcheon. Maybe, maybe we have to do that. I know. I'm going to start brown bagging it, Jeff Gold. I, I do have sandwich materials at home. And an, and an avocado that's just about to ripen up. All right. No, Mr. Mike. Say, this, this is the second food service now. Maybe that's it for me. There's Brian Dozier. That'll ship. Stunning day. Just, I'm just not going to eat anymore. Charlie Morton. So these ones are not uh, numbered, by the way. They're just chrome parallels. Nice Pete Alonzo. That's for the Mets, Richard Z. It's oh, two Lewitsky coming into focus. You can bet on Little League? I don't know, but oh. I, I, would, I wouldn't know. <laughs> oh, no. You can. You found one. <laughs> Big game against Virginia. That's right. Bryce Harper. Virginia. Is, the, is the team with the girl out? Monet Davis? No. She was five years ago. No, oh, the Maddie. Maddie Freking or something oh, like that. Probably. She's on Minnesota. Oh, no, that might be. 
Chris Paddock. I just remember Pamone Davis from five years ago. They said she got a softball scholarship to some college. She, oh, really? Yeah, she's going to it's her freshman year like this fall, I think. So this was I, I I saw. So if they had that little league game that they did a couple days ago on an actual little league field, the base right. of the MLB game. Right. If they did it on an actual little league field. Was short fence, right? <laughs> right. Fence. Like a hundred and twenty foot fence. But would the hitters be able to hit the pitch from the mound like half as close? Oh, the and the mound dimensions are the same. Yeah, everything's as a little league. Field. Wow. So obviously pop up, pop outs would go out, but would they be able to even get contact with these pitchers so close? You know? No, right. I don't know. Well, because they always say, oh, that kid's throwing 60, and that translates to... So what if Araldus Chapman came out, you know? Would would anybody be able to hit him? What is it, 40 feet? I don't know. What do you guys... Yeah, what, what is the distance, Little League distance? Could major leaguers hit... Like, if it was just... If major leaguers are playing on Little League dimensions, would that be an unfair advantage to the pitcher? Because everybody just says, I, oh, there'd be so many home runs. But I don't know. Would there be... Just as many strikeouts. I think there'd be just as many strikeouts. I, I want to see a game. I hope they do the game on an actual little league field. <laughs> I feel like there's things. player safety issues, too. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like our oldest Chapman throwing 105 from 40 feet away. Yeah. And then, like, Trout connects. And the exit velo on that's, like, 200 miles per hour going to, like, someone yeah, 40 where, feet away. Maybe the pitchers wear a helmet in this game. All right, so yeah, maybe some extra gear. Yeah. Cat, like catcher's gear for the pitcher. I don't know. What does everyone think? Major league ball players on little league dimensions. This is what happens in long breaks like this. Nice to tease. What's so special about high number? It's high numbers. I don't know what's so, what's special about high number. What's the difference between heritage and heritage? High oh, number? you mean they're all literally the high number yeah, cards, right? Yeah, and it's yeah. usually like rookies who weren't in the first set. So like it's Vlad, like a, Vlad Jr. wasn't in heritage, but he's in heritage high number. It's like a series two kind of. Yeah, it's kind of like that. It's like heritage part two. And I think the stuff that that pops from here generally tend to be a little more value a little bit more than. Heritage one. Jeff Goldavis, pitchers can wear AB's helmet. There's Justin Upton, Angels. That goes to Elvis Ekman. Elvis back in the action. Yes, those those are all refractors. These shiny cards are all will all ship. They're just not numbered though. Yeah, that sells pretty well too. Some of them are numbered, but I, I think the it's just a different different one. You'll see. When I, next time I spot one. Yeah, big with set collectors. The variations are super popular. I've seen action very when like we did judges year, I remember one time, his action variation went for hundreds his rookie year. Maybe his action variation went for like sixty to a hundred and then like his nickname variation. There was all sorts of different variations that did well. There's Michael Ken Wei Loom. Going to the Braves, that'll be for Lou. Hey Josh. Yeah, safety would be an issue, but but I just wanna know, would there be more than like eight would there be norm, more than normal runs in a game? No. I feel like there'd probably be like Four or five home runs, maybe. I think it'd be kind of normal. Like four home runs and then like thirty strikeouts. Action variation there for the Yankees. Yeah, autos are really rare in these, uh, Alex. I think they only fall like a handful per case, maybe three to five per case.
See, X Line thinks. Yeah. Sub X Line. He, he thinks that nobody can. But not, all you need to do is get a bat and the ball, and it's out. You know. Right. Right. So I feel like that would happen a few times. I'd like to see that. Make it happen. Huh? Why isn't Why isn't Why isn't like ESPN on this? Sports science. Yeah, they don't do anything fun anymore. No, they don't do sports science. I never see that. But yeah, safety would definitely be an issue. Those baseballs rocketing back to people. Flip coin. What's going on, man? Did you miss anything? No. No autos yet. A um, couple action, uh, a team name variation, action variation. You know that That's about it. They don't do that movie trailer voice anymore. You know? Have you noticed that? I think he's not with us anymore. But they don't like imitate it. Oh yeah, maybe that's his thing. What do you mean? He trademarked it? I don't know his voice. Yeah, maybe. In a world where yeah. action variation, like Clint Frazier. Yeah. In a world. Ah, uh, he's dead. That makes sense. I think so. Yeah. I feel like that, you should just record their voice, saying every word, and then you can just use it. Here's Pete Alonzo. So, Alex, F. So, this is the slightly different one that's also numbered. So, that's different from the, the regular Chrome ones. So, so these are slightly darker. They're like silver instead of just refractory. So those, the refractory ones not numbered and the silver ones numbered right here. 772 out of 999. Pete Alonzo, that's a good one too. That'll be for Richard Z. Mr. Mike says, 90, 95 from 46 feet, and the pitcher gets hit with it, take, takes an arm off? Yeah, I guess so. Still like to see it, though. Oh, ooh, look at that. 36 out of 70. Red ink autograph, Reese Hoskins. Nice. Can you put a T-loader? Red? Nice. And that will be for the Phillies. Chris Garosi with the Fightins. This lady's looking at it. Oh, you're in the right place, lady. You're in the right place. Hello. Yeah, she's delivered to us before. I know, I, I, I moved that right away. I moved that right away. Moved that right away. And you were you were not about to like her in a, if you saw what happened. <laughs> oh man. So he would have if he saw what happened. I saved I saved it from disaster. Trying to put the Coca Cola right on the uh, showcase. <laughs> All right, next box. Oh, we got a Victor Robles. Looks like an action. 
variation it is. That is going out to Elvis Ekman. Is this our, uh, this our last, yep. last case of heritage, ladies and gentlemen? That's it. That's good. I'm glad we, we cleaned up the site a little bit before uh, all those new releases tomorrow. Oh, yeah, they're revisiting Donald Cerny and stuff. I don't know. Is it like an they anniversary? Have nothing else to talk about? It must be a, yeah. An anniversary of his tapes leaking? Yeah. Well, yeah, they, like, like Ramona Shelburne and a few other ESPN, like, big NBA writers, they all, like, got into it. and They got to stay woke. I, I, I guess so, because bounce, they, they did a whole, like, five-part special on 30 for 30 podcast. So there's a whole thing, so they're pitching all that. I mean, I think it's pretty odd, like... I think they're trying to... This racist guy, but they, I mean, NBA couldn't do anything about it. I think they're trying to get into, like, how close were players to, to like, canceling that playoff game or whatever. Wow. Like, what happened behind the scenes? What did Doc Rivers really say in the locker room? How close were the players to boycotting the playoff game? And they're just kind of deep diving into, into that, I think. Which I guess is interesting, but... What's this? This is different. It seems different. Action. I guess they can't call the... They call them, what, senators now? What? They call the... They, they can't call NBA owners owners anymore. They call them something else. What? You never heard that? They own a professional franchise? No, but they stopped oh. saying that. I don't... Oh, really? Yeah. Like, Adam Silver came out. Are they... No, they're not senators. That'd be stupid. Well, kind of funny. Huh. Generals? I don't know. All but yeah, they're, okay. they're not owners I anymore. guess. So you can't say the word owner. It's just like DL, you can't say the word. You gotta say IL now. You gotta say IL. Alright, that's fine, I guess. I'm not too bad out of shape about it. So we pull like a... an owner on it. Did we what, Alex? Sorry? We're just saying that it was just... I don't know why they why it was relevant to bring up now. But I guess they had some... It's like had some inter six o'clock sports center. Inter interviews to do. It's a slow basketball time of year, so they, they had to generate some content. content. Yeah. Michelle Beadle got fired. What? Off of the... Off of Get Up? No. Well, she got fired off Get Off last year. Get Up. Oh. Um, I, that I didn't know. Who's, so who's doing it? No, uh, I think it's just Mike Greenberg and the other guy. Oh. But now it's, she got off the, uh, the NBA countdown, and now it's um, Rachel Nichols. There's Josh Hader. you got to make that autograph a little bit bigger, my friend. But there he is. Brewer's auto going out to Jeff Goldberg. That's right, it's Governor's now. I knew it was some Ah, uh, Jeff Goldhaber saying it's Governor's. Governor's. I need me a... You're on the right track with Senators. Yeah. All right, and last bit here. Wait, so where's, so Michelle Beadle's off of ESPN? Yeah, I mean, they still have to pay her, but she's not in any programming right now. That's crazy. I, I think I like Rachel Nichols better anyway for basketball. Yeah, she, she knows what she's doing. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. I feel like I, I feel like Beetle really they, wants they to. They really struck out. They paid her. They paid her like five million a year, and they paid Katie Nolan, like, and then she doesn't even have a show. She sure does. Up all Katie night with Nolan. Katie Nolan. Oh, She's I've never pretty seen easy. It on. It's on the ESPN Plus app. Oh, She's a Liverpool fun. fan. She's pretty easy on the eyes. Girl next door, look. Yeah. Um, but I mean, she's pretty funny too. Um. I didn't know she had a show. Yeah, she's on the streaming service, but I didn't. I mean, she's getting paid a lot for that for like that show on the streaming service. Yeah. But I, Matthew Berry show is like on the streaming Barry service too. Yeah. It's kind of. It's, it's kinda, a goofy show. It's a little bit. Like after a while, it's just like all right. Enough with the puppets. The theme of this podcast. <laughs> like all right, let's get to the 
Let's get to it. Yeah, let's get to it. Yeah, or like, they had this Dan Orlowski guy on. Uh huh. And um, his sidekick was like drooling over Dan Orlowski. It was kind of weird. Oh, he was kind of weird. Like, I think. Really big Lions fan. I think, I think Beetle really wants to be like out of the sports thing. Yeah. Remember how she tried to do Access Hollywood for a little bit here in LA? Yeah, and then it, it didn't that. really work out, but I think she wants like a, some sort of, politics. I don't know, I don't know if it's, no, it's politics, but she just wants to yeah, be on like more mainstream entertainment sort of thing. I like Sports Nation, but they canceled that. Oh, that was Sports Nation with Michelle Beadle and Colin Cowherd. That was good. That was, per, that was a good duo, right? And then there. Carissa Thompson. Yeah, that was that, that was a good crew. Carissa Thompson. That was a good run. I think she's she's very talented. <laughs> she's got some talent. Michelle Beadle's in L.A., right? Yeah. yeah Isn't fun. that show that you should take? Yeah. Do you think Michelle Beadle would do group breaks with us, ladies and gentlemen? Michelle Beadle, if you're listening, if you're listening, you know, you don't like Jamel Hill? I think she's all right. But I think, I think she should have kept that show. Who was that? Never lie. Yeah, numbers never lie. She should have just the the ESPN. I think everyone tries to get on the main. Sometimes they yeah, just they, 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 they 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 force that they force that six o'clock sports center. Yeah, is which that is even unnecessary. That much of a popular show? No, it's not. I mean, they, another movement in the park. The what podcast? Part of my take. Yeah, no. I don't think I've listened to that. Pretty good. I like it. I listened to the Bomani Jones podcast, which is pretty good. Yeah, he's cool too. Um, what else do I listen to? I listen to Behind the Bets. Another action variation for Victor Robles. Bill Simmons I listen to. Also. Bill Simmons. I, li- I like the Bill Simmons podcast. You see the Ringer unionizing? Ringer's unionizing? Yeah. And like, what do you Bill mean? Simmons hasn't recognized it yet. So there's a big drama. Like, their workers are unionizing. Like, under what? Like, their own union? Yeah. like. A, or are they joining, like, Writers Guild Union in Hollywood? I, I think it's just a, their union, the Ringer Union. Wow. Hmm. That's a Which bold move. It's kind of weird because, like, a bold move. I get unions for a lot of jobs, but for, like, for that, it's just really talent based. So, yeah, you can't really. Yeah, if you're like a factory worker, like building yeah, cars, like, that like makes yeah, sense. like you need certain rights as a worker and, and protection. But, and protection but but for, yeah. Like make sure that you're not like safety concerns for a from. Content website. I'm but not yeah, sure how it works. But like Action Network's not unionizing. Uh, um, they, that's it's why because was, that Gawker website unionized, so then everyone followed. You know, like Deadspin, I think is is, a, but, is under there and all those. Some sort of writers union. Yeah, they just make their own unions, hmm. and yeah, they they want all this stuff. Some people said it's because Brian Rosillo got that huge deal from the Ringer, <laughs> so they're all mad. Well, like that's a that's the thing because there's a lot of talented writers who just like write and there's just like this just like it does make like, a lot of money. Mm-hmm, they're like produce yeah. content, 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 but they're not getting yeah. You know what are they getting paid? They have to freelance out, and if they're yeah. stuck in like a forty thousand a year writing job, you know, it doesn't quite. Oh, yeah, that's the Ringer podcast. Oh yeah, I like I like rewatchables. I don't listen to every episode of rewatchables. Um, I'll listen I'll, I'll listen to like some whatever my favorite movies are. It's like are. Chase Serrano, right? I like Andy. I don't know, but Bill Simmons hops on that one every once in a while. But they'll like deep dive into like old movies and spend like an hour and a half like talking about it. Problem is, I usually haven't seen the movies, so I gotta. Well, you gotta watch it yeah, and I then watch it and then do. It. And then yeah. But there's some there's some good ones there. They've got a really good one on Heat. That's really good. Al Pacino and uh, Robert De Niro, who are both in a new Scorsese's 
picture that will get sponsored by, I'm sure, <laughs> Jaspies will be sponsored by The Irishman on Netflix. Talking about a uh, Jimmy Hoffa's Hollywood. Hitman. You see Quentin Tarantino's new movie? I have not. I need to see that. You gotta see it. It's pretty good. It just shows LA pretty cool. I, I like it. In like old 60s LA? Yeah. Pretty cool. And Margot Robbie's in it. Right. Sharon Stone. Tate. Or Sharon Tate. I've been to that house before. Sharon Tate's house? Yeah. Where it's, it happened? Yeah, where it happened. They do like tours? They don't do tours. It's just it's just like just drive up it's just there. the end of a drive and then you probably saw the movie. And it's just yeah, a yeah. gate and then yeah, there's the house it, yeah. and that's it. But you, you can go up to the gate but you can't like it says like no trespass. there's all sorts of things right there. Yeah, yeah. We've got David John Guisa Jr. Yeah, usually, and then they usually, usually put it here. Um, but yeah, like I'm seven hundred. Yeah. And it ends with Ichiro. All right, there's one there. Oh, I should listen to the one with the natural. I should. Jeff Goldhaber says, "Oh, a card breakers yeah. union." Yeah. Should we negotiate for per diems, and like assistants who will go out, like runners who will go out and get food for us instead of us having to have it delivered here. Carson Kelly, so that, that that will ship. That's a variation. I'd break that union. Yeah, that union would be busted so fast. Bootlickers would be Chris Paddock. That's a team name a variation for uh, the Padres. Now they're card breakers. Yeah, they, how could they unionize? Everyone hates each other. There'd be some guy in Northern California or Florida who doesn't like the guys in Long Island. And that would never work. You've never seen Heat all the way through? It's a long movie, so... But if you like, and it's kind of a slow burner, but I'm a fan of it. Action variation, one through ten rating. My rating would be a nine or a ten. It's a it's a great L.A. crime movie. So if you like detective movies and good acting and Michael Mann pictures, and I think you'll uh, I think you'll enjoy it. But it is a slow burner. It's a long movie, so. But you got to really just sit there. A lot of great lines from Al Pacino. A lot of it's very quotable too. Yeah, it's, it might be a little overrated, but it shows a lot of great shots of L.A. Michael Mann usually does a, does a great shot. Uh, he films L.A. well, like with uh, Collateral. I think was another Tom Cruise, Jamie Foxx. Uh, no, I don't need interns, Mr. Mike's daddy. The interns, you got to actually give them work to do. You know, Jackie Brown, they lived in an apartment in Hermosa Beach. What? Jackie Brown was shot all over the South Bay. Yeah, I knew that like, they did they a lot of shooting Hermosa at the Delamo Beach. Mall. But... Yeah, Delamo Mall, and their apartment was in Hermosa. Oh, I didn't realize that all that was shot. In... Yeah. I, that's an underrated movie, Jackie Brown. Because Quentin Tarantino grew up in uh, Torrance. That's right. I think he was a video store nerd, too. Yeah. That's so that was that's why he's just so yeah. It's like a lot of Hermosa Beach shots. In it too. I gotta rewatch that now that I'm down here more often. You gonna sh ship me some Whataburger, Trevor? I've had Whataburger before. Oh man, Whataburger's that, that's good. pretty good. Yeah. I like their chicken strip sandwich. It's so good. It was a little. It was hyped by this guy right here, Nick Jasby. You know, definitely hyped it up. But when I had it, I was just like, did okay. You see the latest fast food feud. Uh oh, what's the latest fast food feud? Popeyes came out with a new chicken sandwich, and okay. it's supposed to be better than versus Chick Fil A. Chick -fil -A. And like, there's, you know how? Oh, you pass an auto just now. Right here. Oh, it's just too busy talking about Popeyes. Almost missed Patrick Corbin, blue ink autograph for Elvis. Sorry, Elvis. Elvis Ekman and the Nats. But yeah, it's supposed to be. 
It's supposed to be the next best thing. Better than Chick Fil A. I do and like, like their Twitter accounts. You know, like the Wendy's Twitter account. Like, oh. does a, like they're tweeting at each other, like memes and stuff. It's a little. It's getting. It's getting. They're getting heated. Heated, yeah. But Chick Fil A's like trying to stay out of it. Right, because they're they're good. They're good Christians. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I've never had Popeyes, so Popeyes is pretty good. They've got pretty good fried chicken there. Around here. Yeah, they do. Not in, not in South Bay. <laughs> go to Inglewood. Oh. No, you don't go across the 405. <laughs> Nick, I'm saying around here. Nick doesn't like to go across the 405. You box. I, I it's to, it's like people in Brooklyn who don't go to Manhattan. <laughs> I go to Carson all the time. I can't. That's still that's right on the four hundred five. It's past it. Yeah, you got you got to you got to go inland a little bit. I've been to what you call it before. Uh, I don't uh, think we have a raisin canes they have though. Those in Orange County. Oh, do they? Yeah, yeah. we don't we don't have those. I've here. been there. It's really good. They have them in Anaheim stuff. So I've been to Roscoe's. That's Roscoe's, Roscoe's is great. Roscoe's is awesome. Roscoe's chicken and waffles. And that's is, in Inglewood, so it's pretty clutch. All right. All right. Well. What's that song? Inglewood. <laughs> Always up to no good. Yeah. That's what Dr. Dre sings about. Long Beach, Inglewood. Um, why? I live in Santa Monica. <laughs> yeah, Joe lives. Yeah, what, what's wrong with what's wrong? Too many group breakers in Santa Monica just ruining the neighborhood. I'm homeless in but that's here too. But there's a lot of people. Another autograph, Kevin Kramer for the Pirates. Not that there anything wrong with him. Most of them are fine, friendly. Kevin just, Lowell Kramer. Just down on luck. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. It happens. Pirates. That goes to Lou Lou Reeves with the Pirates. Yeah, I guess I guess Santa Monica could definitely get bubbly because. He, you don't, you, you don't have to leave. There's a Target there now, Whole Foods, bars, restaurants, shopping. And it's so big. It's, it's kind of big, yeah. It's, it's actually big. It's sneaky big. Like it goes all the, the way up. The beach past is there. The college, San Monica College, and then yep. even further. And then it kind of mixes in with Brentwood. Yep, does mix in a little, a little bit with Where Brentwood. Larry David lives. Mm-hmm. I, I like watching that show because they shoot, they shoot all, all the over Santa there. Monica, yeah. yeah. Yeah, my brother said they were shooting across his work for this new season do, do, that's coming do, out. Do. I like that they do that. It's kind of expensive to shoot in Santa Monica, but they, they do it all the time. Yeah. Well, he's like a millionaire, so I don't care. cares. Yeah, that's true. HBO probably just gives them whatever they want, you know? Yeah, at this point, yeah. Oh, now that I have the HBO thing, I should like binge watch that show. Did you watch the season a couple years ago? Or mm -mm. A year? It's pretty funny. I haven't. I haven't. I actually have not seen it past like the first couple of seasons. Oh man, it's so funny. After the bless you, after after the blacks moved in, <laughs> the, the, which was one of it, which is one of the best episodes, I think ever. Oh, yeah. The title to meet the blacks. It, it, it's it's perfect satire. Yeah. It's just perfect satire. It's pretty good. And just how how people can get too insensitive or too sensitive and just miss, like, because yeah. everyone wants to jump down to everyone throw it when you hear someone yeah. in public going, "I'm tired of the blacks," <laughs> but their last name is Black. You guys should, if you guys are are Seinfeld, Larry David fans, you, you will very much enjoy that episode. Nixon Zell going to the Reds, EA. Yeah, that's we got Jorge Alfaro for the Marlins, Matthew Wicks, who won that in a team run. And then they have a funny thing about air conditioning. I don't remember that the one. The blacks like it at like 79. <laughs> and then Larry likes it at like 68. Right. <laughs> That's some white people. <laughs> <laughs> at a 999. Oh, man. There's Alex Verdugo for the Dodgers, Elvis Ekman. Um, whatchamacallit, why am I blanking on his name now? But Larry's like the sidekick. Jeff. No, um, he's a part of the Blacks. Oh. Oh, he's like a comedian. He's a, yeah. He's I, really I, I can see his face. But he's like, yeah, I'm a 72 man myself. <laughs> or 82 man. I'm an 82 man myself. 
Oh boy. Oh, Leon. Leon, that's right. Yeah, Leon's awesome. He's my favorite character, probably. Nice Tatis Jr. box topper. Yeah, you gotta watch it up until at least, like, the Michael J. Fox. How many? The Michael J. Fox episodes are so funny, and Rosie O'Donnell's in it. Oh, man. Oh, man. There's uh, probably seven or eight seasons. Okay. All right. Got it. But they're all so quick episodes, so. Gotta binge that. Yeah, Inglewood is changing, actually. There's a lot of, well, especially with the new stadium and stuff like that. There's going to be a lot of gentrification there, that's for sure. New stadium will be down there. NFL Network is moving down there. Oh, really? I'm pretty sure they are, yeah. From Culver City? Mm -hmm. To the new stadium, they're going to have a different office building there or something like that. They'll probably have like some sort of like West Coast Hall of Fame here, too. Yeah. West Coast Branch Hall of Fame. So there's going to be all sorts of crazy... Uh, High rises and shopping centers and oh, new yeah, buildings Tom. and yeah, that's a good episode. Like the episode in the new season where um, the deli Larry goes to a lot. Like they name a sandwich after him. Maybe it's not in the new season. They name a sandwich after him, but the mm -hmm. sandwich is gross. <laughs> so he's trying to change the sandwich with with Ted Danson. He's got like a turkey club. And it's really funny. <laughs> it's <just> Larry David. <laughs> no one's gonna want to eat my sandwich. Like it's got like, it's got like white codfish on it and oh, like yeah. mayonnaise no and sandwich. stuff like that. Oh, they should build that casino bigger. That's right around the corner in Inglewood. Yeah, they should. Especially if. Hustler. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, especially if the. Uh, I've, never, I've never wanted to go in there. I haven't been in there in ages. Um, but you, you I think uh, if yeah, I have been there. Um, but yeah, if uh, if sports gambling becomes legal in California someday, they definitely want to be able to expand out in that that casino area behind the stadium Hollywood. or Hollywood Casino. Oh, that, I miss that horse racing track. Um, I hated that. Yeah, but it was like an old gritty horse racing track. Guys still ch chewing on old stubs of cigars and. Smell like chewing tobacco and cigarettes. It's like, uh, <laughs> kind of like Los Alamitos. Sort of like that. Santa Anita is really nice. Yeah, Santa Anita is like Del Mar is beautiful. Del Mar is really nice. All right, next box. We're cruising, folks. We're cruising. We're almost done. Well, folks, our new shop will be done in a, in a few weeks or so. So you can start you can start planning your vacays, especially during the winter months. You can start planning your vacations to Los Angeles. Bring the, yeah, bring the kids. Go to Disneyland. Do Knott's Berry Farm. Do Universal Studios. Do Hogwarts, and then and then Angel Stadium. Yeah, Dodger Stadium, Angels, Staples, uh, Staples Angels, Center, Honda more Center. Dodgers, and then uh. Then wrap a wrap an afternoon at Jaspies around there, or an evening at Jaspies. Twenty two out of ninety nine. Reese Hoskins jersey. Chris Garosi with the Phillies got his red ink autograph earlier. Gets a piece of his jersey now. The uh, the Lake Erie Seawolves. Lake Erie Seawolves are they are they here? The Long Beach <laughs> Seals. They're in Lake Erie. The <laughs> Long. Lake Erie has a minor league team. I forget what their name is. What was that? There's like an IHL team here, isn't there, in Long Beach? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Like the Long Beach Ice Dogs or something like that. Angels might move to Long Beach. There's for now Tatis Jr. What? It's just a threat, though. Oh. Well, the city, the Angels lease comes up soon. And they should move to Long Build a nice new team in Long Beach. And they're thinking of, like, they talk to Long Beach. Yeah, you did I those. did I did those. But I think it's just a threat from Artie Moreno to, to get get to a get good good lease terms. Yeah. Alex, you want sports scores running across the bottom right here? We could probably try to do that. Yeah, do we have the rights to that? It'd be like we have to put like LA and then in parentheses A 
for the right. AFC. <laughs> right. Out of 569, there's Zach Britton. Yeah, we could probably get away with it for a little bit until whatever whatever website we're screenshotting that off. Spider-Man is leaving the Marvel comic universe. What? What's Sony, with all this crazy Sony, news? Where is he going? Sony and Disney couldn't come to terms. What? So now Peter so, Parker's Oh, it just with, doesn't exist? Yeah. Not with So what about not with Marvel? What about Home Spider-Man Homecoming? Well, that's the last one, I guess. And the Far from home. Was That's it. Too. Far from home. I mean, so, yeah. so what? All of a sudden, they're just like, oh yeah, uh, Spider Man just doesn't exist in Marvel, yeah. Marvel anymore. It's like the next movie, that next Iron Man. There's like, oh, what about Spider Man? It's like, well, he's Terrible. dead. Terrible. <laughs> Peter Parker's dead. No, now that means we got to get a whole new reboot where he oh, discovers God. his powers for the uh, third, for the umpteenth time. And like, and like the dad dies and the mom dies. Oh boy. Uncle Ben dies. Like he's racked with guilt, and yeah. we got to go through that all over again. With like Brad yeah. Brack is gonna be the new Spider Man, and terrible. I think those universe things are just so silly anyway. It's like an All Star game watching like Avengers. And yeah, it's like, awesome. What do you mean? What? Do you like the MLB All-Star game? Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, it is kind of cool, but... You don't get the full... And they actually... No, they just, like... Byron Buxton. Kick people's ass, and it's just... Yeah, I guess so. It's like watching someone run out the score, and you, like, can't look away. It's like week one, college football. All right. There's Aaron James Judge. He's from Northern California, Linden, California. Box hopper going to the Yankees, the Bronx Bombers with that one. All right, just a few boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. We got the one Nick's doing right now on the Nick Cam. We got one more right here, and then we are Dunzos. This is a breeze, boys and girls. They're doing a female Thor movie. Is there actually a real female Thor in, in the comic? Yeah. The comic book? Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Just comments. do it well. <laughs> it's with, um, I think, Natalie Portman. No. Yeah. She's going to be Trick Thor? It's, I don't think it's called Thor. Oh. I it's like it's girl, girl Thor. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie Portman is Girl Thor. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if it's called Thor. Huh. Natalie Portman doing a major like action movie. It's, I've never seen it. And I don't think when's the last time she's been like a huge mainstream movie like she's been doing a lot of like independent indie flicks and stuff that have been pretty good but like going from Black Swan to like yeah her and Mila Kunis that was cool I feel like Mila, Mila Kunis could pull it off she does a lot of a lot more mainstream yeah, she's pictures she's not they're so rich that they don't even care that's true it doesn't matter Ashton I did see that like Uber what was the uh Natalie Portman did a movie called like Oblivion or something weird like that. It was like this weird sci-fi. I couldn't name you one Natalie Portman movie sure other than Star Wars. Come on. I don't know. I, and I couldn't name the Star Wars. She was in. Uh, she was in the movie the, Daddy the, McBride. She was in The Professional. That was a classic. I've never seen it. It's pretty good. I like Jessica Alba in X Men. This guy was an X Men. Yeah. No, she was a she was a Fantastic Four. Uh, Fantastic Four. Yeah, which was no one can get Fantastic Four right. I kind of liked it. I liked mm. her in it. Right. <laughs> Just Gal was like like she's like a, like a billionaire businesswoman. Yeah. Like Ashton Kutcher. Did you hear about Ashton Kutcher? He's like an investor. In, reporting. He's on Shark Tank all the time. Aston Kutcher in, in court deals. because an old girlfriend yeah, of his yeah. murdered. murdered. Yeah, and he had to testify. Yeah, that's the guy's called. He's called like the Hollywood killer. Yeah, that's just which, so like, weird. If you're gonna have a nickname and kill people, that's like kind of the nickname you gotta go with. Gotta go and with the Hollywood a, killer. Like what he did was terrible, but that's a good. Nickname, you know? But like he, but it he thought he was getting stood up. He was taking her on a date or like a red carpet I event. Read, but yeah, and he was like knocking on her door. 
And then she's like, oh, I guess I'm just getting stood up tonight. Peace out. And then a couple days later, oh, she's dead times. Oh, really? That's crazy. Yeah. I thought the guy, the murderer was, was not No. But it was asking. That's why he's testifying, because he was just like, where were you on this night, blah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. just to get the timeline right. That's creepy. That's crazy. A lot of, uh, maybe some guilt there from Ashton Kutcher. That 70s show is a great show. Yeah, classic. Mila Kunis was, was uh, underage, I think, when she joined that show. Under, like, Hollywood rules. Like, she was, like, under 16. Oh. And so they made her work, like, normal hours, like, over 16. Oh, gotcha. so. she, I think she lied about it, right? She totally lied about it. Otherwise, they would have had to change the production around. And now is that... That was the uh, that guy's first ever acting job. The main character. Topher Grace. Yeah. Really. That was his first ever. He just got auditioned, just got it, and he just got like a major sitcom. Wow. Now he's David Duke in Black Klansman. I have not seen that. I heard that's good. It's pretty good. Man, I gotta catch up on a lot of movies. Yeah. Need the bird flu. Get knocked out for a couple weeks. Eloy Jimenez going to Matt Hastings in the Never White Sox. It's weird if you're into like if you're into artsy movies. I don't know if you like Fantastic Four, you're probably not gonna like Black Swan. <laughs> what my taste? Yeah, if, I mean. Well, I haven't seen Fantastic no, like, Four no. since I was probably four. So oh, okay. That's probably why I liked it. Um, the. Mike Tower, going back to Natalie Portman's SNL rap video, pretty classic. It's a pretty classic moment. It's a good rap video. At the time, extreme, oh. It's a mini Manny Machado. It snuck up on me. Thought my eyes just were bad. That's out of 100. It's hiding. Padres, that'll be for James and Long. Is Austin Barnes coming into focus? Yeah, Topher Grace is good in that movie. As David Duke. Now the was good in Garden State too. I just didn't I just I just don't like uh that guy who who wrote Garden State. Uh, Clubhouse Collection Relic, Andrew Benintendi. That'll be for Josh Pruce. I forget. He was in Scrubs. He was a doctor in Scrubs. Oh, the main guy? I think one of the guys. I saw Shazam. I thought it was okay. Sh Shazam? With Shaq? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, the new DC movie. Oh, the Shazam. new DC movie. I thought you meant... The Shaq movie. And then Shazam, that was so where, bad. He, where he was, where he was, was a, really bad. he was a lovable genie. genie. Yeah, that was <laughs> so bad. What are you talking about? Did that win some Oscars? He got nominated for like the Razzies. What are they? No, called? yeah, yeah. Well, no, I mean, not just not not Kazam. Kazam is the movie that Shaq's in. And then Sinbad is in it, right? I mean, uh, there were some Oscar winners in there. At a nine ninety nine, there's Jorge Alfaro. What's up, Zach TJ? Braff. Right. Zach Braff. Yeah, I don't like Zach. Why don't Braff. you like him? I don't know. I th I think at the time. He's got a punchable face. Yeah, something like that. I was kind of like, "What does Zach Braff think he is?" You know, he's got a just writing some movies, making out with Natalie Portman, and he's got a coming up with cool, cool soundtracks. Kristen Bell's husband, who has the podcast. Dad I think Shepherd. I I think I was annoyed with Zach Braff. It was the, it was the soundtrack. Like he would put all these like cool like songs on there, and I'd be like, "These are songs that we were listening to for years." And he gets him into a soundtrack. I was like, "Hey, you hear ever hear of the Shins?" And we're like, yeah, yeah, we've all been listening to them for a while, and Zach Braff gets all this indie cred. There you go, that's that's hipster rant right there. Did you see the Beatles movie? No, I didn't. It looked cheesy. Yesterday? It looked cheesy. It did? I didn't see it. Yeah, I didn't see it. That, that, that's definitely, that's see definitely, it. that's definitely when it the comes DVD. out on video, on videotape. I'll go to the Blockbuster and pick that one up. It looks kind of funny. It grossed a ton of money. Actually. Did it really? Oh, like hundred million. You slap Beatles on anything. You put Beatles like they had to pay ten million can, for the can, rights to use it in their song. Beatles on this knife right here, and then it would sell more than the Sheffield knife right here. So we just make a movie about the Beatles. Yep. And, and case pay breaking. Ten million dollars. Beatles and group breaking. Yeah. Group group breaking Beatles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have seen Closer. 
That's that's a that's a dark movie though. That makes me that movie makes me sad. Marlene me? Sad times. Sad movie. I remember that movie. Chris Maxwell, Natalie Portman got was is like a, got pregnant and got stuck in a Walmart or something like that. That was like a Oh, I think I saw that. That's yeah. like another indie yeah, flick yeah, that yeah, she I did. So this is which is why so it's yeah, like yeah. why is she doing a superhero movie? She's I like No, she's trying to get that big bucks before she's Just she's trying done. to branch out. Yeah, yeah, she's just like let me get that that kind of that Gal Gadot career. money. Yeah. That Wonder Woman money? She's near the end of her career. Oh, Gal Gadot is awesome. She wants that Wonder Woman money. Big fan of Gal Gadot. Yeah. She's pretty funny, too. You see her on SNL? I think I have, yeah. She's, like, taller than me. Oh, is she tall? Yeah, she's really mm. tall. At least she looks oh. tall. All right. We got Philip Seymour Hoffman. For the Cubs. No, that's Phil Reagan. Phil Regan. Is Phil Regan dead? Did, did, was he, wasn't he a coach for a while? I feel like he coached for a while. Uh, that goes to Jeff Goldhaber and the Chi Town Cubbies. This is the last box right here, boys and girls. Thanks, thanks for Who's dealing with Spider Man, who I like a lot, is Marissa Tomei. Oh, Marissa Tomei. Awesome. We need more Marissa Tomei in, in, in the movies, in the pictures. Well, now Spider-Man's canceled, so... Stupid Sony. Yeah, they can bring Marissa Watch Tomei. Disney just buy Sony out of spite. <laughs> just buy Sony? It's like, all right, we and can't work out a deal. Confused. Well... Like, there's, the Sony shareholders have to accept it because it's such a large yeah. amount. Yeah, just, just going to buy it. Sony. It's an action variation for too low. I wonder who... I don't know who owns Sony. Someone owns. Who owns Disney? The Disney family. Stuff? I don't. Probably shareholders at this point. Another. Uh, oh, that's a team name. Tulo, by the way. Team name and action. Tulo. That's right. Yeah. Where, where did Damian Rice go? Matt Fitty. He released a couple albums. No, but I was saying Dak Shepard has a punchable face too. I don't like him. You don't like Dak Shepard? Not really. You know who he is? Yeah, he's married to Kristen Bell. Yeah. The girl from Frozen. Yeah. Oh, I've never seen Frozen. And Veronica Mars. Yeah, and uh, Good Place. And uh, car commercials. And the the reimagined version of Chips, which was really bad. <laughs> oh, she, oh Dak Shepard was in made Chips. Made by Dak Shepard. Right. It was created by him. It was really bad. How did Dak Shepard score Kristen Bell? I feel like Kristen Bell's out of her, out of his league. Yeah, he's kind of goofy. <laughs> Did I get scared watching Spider Man? Scary, especially when Venom comes out. I'm not gonna watch scary movies like that. At a five sixty nine. Ooh, that's a good one, Boombach. Yeah, we need we need the sequel to The Professional. Oh, wasn't that Leon? Wasn't there a second one that wasn't very good? I thought there was a movie called Leon, or maybe Leon's the French version, and I don't know. I'm mixing it all up. I don't know. Boombox. I just need to go to go to the video store and just pick up all of these videos at the at the blockbuster just down the street. The one in Rihanna Beach Clubs. Rent a stack of VHSs and Sad. stack of tapes. Nate the, Eovaldi. The video barn. Uh, video barn is done. Donezo. It's at urgent care now. Dang. Just these. Medical professionals taking our video stores. Taking our video stores. It's kind of weird though. They sold like weird stuff, you know. Like what? <laughs> What's weird stuff? Like adult, like a lot of adult stuff. It's kind of weird. Videos or? Yeah, videos. Oh, okay. I thought it was like, like, like adult, like assistance in the, yeah paraphernalia, <laughs> like AIDS or no, but assistance. I, I wouldn't. Adult yeah, AIDS. Bedroom AIDS. No, I, but I no, get it. okay. I get it, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Just videos. But like a lot of them. Like four. Well, that, I think that's what that's what used to keep like those old video stores in business is like adult videos. But don't people just go on the internet? Well, I don't know. There's some old school guys who are just like I like popping in a tape, just like the old days. There's the process to it. There's a Kessin Hira, nice action Debbie variation. Dustin. 
Yeah, they're like, I gotta watch that. Gotta watch that on tape, like the old days. Did the Cowboys sue them over that movie, you think? No. They don't own the rights to Dallas. <laughs> yeah, but she's, yeah, she's a Cowboys cheerleader. Oh, is she? Isn't she? No, I don't think so. Yeah. I've never seen it. I think she is. There are many sequels. All right. Reboots. Right, remember back in the day, folks, you actually have to, you, people actually bought, like, rewinding machines so you can rewind your videotapes faster and take them. Wild. Wild. There's Willie Howard Mays. Willie Mays Hayes, how you doing? How you doing? Oh, man. You may run like Hayes, but you hit like crap. Carter Keyboom, action. We'll go through all that. After and do a recap. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go through these right now. Are these On the done? Video? Sure. Now the ones flipped up aren't done. Fl okay. So the upside downs are done. Do we need a sequel to Spaceballs? First one's pretty good. Do we need Isn't the main guy dead? Who? Rick Moranis? No. He's um, an honey has shrunk the kid. Right. The director? He's still alive, I think. I'm thinking of another thing. John Candy. John Candy is not with us. That's right. Uncle Buck. That was a good movie. Uncle Buck is great. There you go. There is a... What is this? A nickname variation. That's nice. Oh, how do we miss that? It says Polar Bear right down there. These are really nice. That's a nice one. These are shorter printed than most of the other variations. That's his nickname, Polar Bear? Yeah. Not sure where that came from, but... He needs, he needs a shirt that is like the Coca-Cola Polar Bear. Yeah. Except his face on it and like a Mets hat or something. I think I went through these, yes. You should just tell me. Bootleg shirts. Should we just sell bootleg shirts out of the new shop? Yeah. Oh, someone was asking earlier if we're all moved into the shop. We are moved into the shop, but uh, I think we just need to get everything set up in the shop. That's that's the only thing. There's some other minor construction things that we got to do. Get some get the signage up on the on the wall out in on the street. Get our street sign up. Maybe then our food service, delivery services can find us. Mr. Mike, Chris wants you to stay around so we can talk about movies. Let's fill another heritage. If we had another heritage, we can do that. Basketball mixer. Basketball mixer. That's kind of short though, isn't it? I don't know. Heck, that could be some... I could meet some movie chatter time enough, there. I don't know enough about movies. More of a TV show. I might write a TV show. Oh. Pitch it. All right. That's a good idea. The premise is kind of like... Group breakers? No. Well, that would be kind of funny. Breakers. Where, like... Every, hey, if they can write a show about fantasy football... Everyone's internet, like, like all their history and stuff gets leaked. Whoa! Like, their text messages, phone calls, like oh, everything. Man. You know? Because one day, it'll probably happen. Yeah, I gotta start deleting all of that. But no, but like it's beyond you. Like Ashley Madison, you know. Like, oh, that? yeah, like, I do remember that. Like I want to make a show like that and like how the country deals. I think that'd be fun. Leakers. <laughs> like the, there's there's better names. Like the government leaks on purpose. For what purpose? I don't know. Let's figure out like, that plot. In the UK, they make you do IDs for adult stuff now. What do you mean? Like you have to. Sh you have to scan your ID. What, so if I want to go to an yeah. adult site, I have to give them my identification? That's crazy, right? Like, for what? For I why? don't know what purpose. I, I oh, so to make sure you're not looking at, like, illegal weird adult stuff? stuff? Probably. Yeah, they're like, oh, this guy likes weird stuff. But, and I mean... Keep an eye on him? But I just think that'd be kind of a funny show. No, this, this is America. We're not going not gonna to give that up. Oh, unless they're already doing it. No, don't. right? Then <laughs> I just don't know it. <laughs> That'd be more America. Right. 
Yeah, it could be a Black Mirror episode. Black Mirror episode would have to be really dark, though. I'm done. Topher Grace is in the new Black Mirror episode. Is he really? Yeah. Where's Topher Grace been? Remember how, speaking of Spider Man, remember how Tobey Maguire yeah, is like an incredible poker player? <laughs> what? You don't know this? No. That book about how that woman ran the ran all of those underground poker sites in Hollywood said Tobey Maguire was the best. Was like is the best poker player, and no, like people kind of want to play with him, but because they can get him into like million dollar cash games and stuff, and like some ballroom and at the Hollywood Hilton or something like that awesome. but then he's also kind of a d-bag so that could be our TV no, show. nobody likes him anyway that's it ladies and gentlemen Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com that was uh, Heritage 2019 Heritage Baseball Pick Your Team number 3 recap video in a separate video although if you watch this long <laughs> the replay alright see ya